Wes, is it hot in Cleveland? We're going to find out. We are going to find out because preseason football is here. Packers and Browns, time for final thoughts. Wes, in the preseason sense of things, what's at stake? Well, Mike, for Jordan Love and the Packers starting offense, an opportunity to get off on a good foot to the 2024 season. Now, we talked to Matt LaFleur earlier this week, and he felt one of the big benefits of last year with the starters playing so much is it allowed them to knock off some rust and really start in a better rhythm to the actual regular season. And I think that's where the Packers are right now with Love. They've had a couple practices. It's been a couple weeks. Now you're going to have the opportunity to go out and do it in a game. We'll see how long he's out there. But while he's out there, get in some good work. Yeah, when you talk about first impressions, we have an entire rookie draft class for the Packers, as well as the undrafted rookies who will be stepping on an NFL field in a game setting for the first time. So first impressions do matter. These guys are looking for playing time. They're looking for roster spots. Yes, there are a few weeks of preseason football, but it gets started on Saturday. Wes, who's heating up? Presented by Aurora Heated Apparel. Mike, I think I could pick any member of the Packers safety core right now <laughs> for this player. But for me, I'm actually going to mention Evan Williams because I think he's going to play a lot in this game. And this rookie fourth round pick out of Oregon, man, the way he's come in here and really looked the part from day one, he is pushing Javon Bullard for that starting job. But as you and I both know, Michael, it's not just about who's going to line up next to Xavier McKinney once the regular season comes around. The Packers are going to need all of these guys. Williams already has four picks so far in this training camp. Maybe he can get another one here in Cleveland. Yeah, why not? And uh, my guy on the, is on the offensive side of the ball, and I'll have my eyes on Grant DuBose, the second-year wide receiver. He was a seventh-round pick a year ago. Missed basically all of training camp due to injury, spent the season on the practice squad. He's flashed certainly on the practice field so far this summer, wants to carry that into these preseason games. It's a crowded room at wide receiver. There isn't space for everybody on the roster, but Grant DuBose is certainly a guy to watch. Wes, we all know in the preseason it's not about the scoreboard and it's about staying healthy. But I think what would constitute a win for the Packers in this game would be to have somebody in that reserve offensive tackle group step forward and really take charge in that competition. Zach Tom is not going to play at right tackle in this game. Those snaps could be taken by Caleb Jones or Kadeem Telfort or Andre Dillard or any combination of those players. The Packers are looking to fortify their depth at offensive tackle tackle they need somebody to step forward it's a great point Mike and for me you can take it literally you can take it figurative if the Green Bay Packers defensive front keeps performing the way they have <laughs> in these practices the Packers are winning this game it has been really mind-boggling to see exactly how much pressure they've been able to generate and I think a big reason for it is the amount of depth and experience they've developed on the defensive line so everybody knows Kenny Clark but what about Carl Brooks what about Colby Wooden and the time that he's put in the weight he's put it on guys like Jonathan Ford over and over and over again, we've talked about how deep they can go on the defensive line. It's led to a lot of disruption. I look for that to continue against the Browns. Yeah, the debut of Jeff Halfley's defense should be fun to watch. So with that, we will sign off on this edition of Final Thoughts. Be sure to follow all of our coverage of Saturday's preseason opener on Cleveland on Packers.com and on all of your social media channels. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the ballgame.